Okay, Ed Akerst here. One of my subscribers, Anthony, had a question. He was taking the info from the video I've done on how to embed a video from Google Drive into your website so that you don't get all the YouTube suggested videos afterwards. And he ran into a problem. Um, I'll show you what the problem is and how to fix it. He did this in Elementor, which is a WordPress editor. And what you do in Elementor, one of the ways you can embed a video is to take your video icon, whoops, and drag it over to a location in the page. And Anthony, what he did was he took the video link, and if you don't know what I'm talking about here, you'll get this from, you'll get this from the video that I did. Okay, so if you're in Google Drive, find a video. I'm going to fly through this because, let me pause that. I'm going to fly through this because this is not a tutorial on how to embed it. It's just a show the differences in Elementor and other uh, web builders similar to Elementor. So um, what you do here is you'll open this in a new window and we want to get that link okay up top that's one way to do it or we can embed. Now the link's not going to work and I'll show you what happens when we do that. When you put the link in here it just kind of comes like that. Well the first thing I thought the problem was was we didn't have the right source because this is looking for a YouTube source and it's not. So you want to hit self-hosted, okay, and then hit, you could actually upload the video. Uh, I'm not sure where to do that in here. Uh, yeah, you can choose a video and upload it, but let's not show that way, okay? Then you should be able to click external URL and paste that image in there. And it just wasn't working, okay? It, it, it's not showing there. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. So I, I kind of thought, well, that's weird, it's not working, but there's another way to do this in Elementor. So if you are in a web builder such as Elementor and this is just not working, um, let's close this out. All right, we'll delete that. What you want to look for is your HTML editor. Okay, and there's one right there. And use the HTML editor. And in Elementor, you'll edit it over here on the left. So let's go back to our video. We're in the, we opened it in its own window, and now we see an option. Oops, we didn't. Oh, yeah, I already did. It's up there, but that's okay. Once you're here and it loads, you'll see an option that says embed item, and you'll copy this. Okay, now if you remember the video before, I do mine in widescreen. 640 by 480 isn't really a widescreen. So I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is change these sizes to 960. Actually, let me leave these the same. I don't think I can change them there anyway and I'll show you what, what happens. So we'll paste our embed code there, and you can see it's there, and it looks kind of squished, and it, it, it is a little bit squished, um, but it, it don't worry about how it looks here. It's not going to look like that on the web page. But if you remember the other video, two things I'll do. If you're doing a widescreen video, more of a YouTube one, change that to 960 and 540, and then after height equals quote 540 quote, but before this greater than sign, put a space and allow full screen, all one word. But only if you want the viewer to be able to see the full screen icon where they can click that. If you don't want that, then don't put that in there. And I'm going to click update. Now see how this looks all squished? It's not really squished, okay? Um... I'm not familiar with Elementor, so bear with me one moment. I need to see, there we go, view page. And there we go. Okay, and see, now it's now it's um, it's rectangular. It's exactly as it wants to be. And we have this little pop-out where you can pop it out, and now it's a full, you can see it actually is viewing it from that actual link. Okay, so that's that's great. We've got it there. And if you don't like the size, if it's too small, um, you can change that. Let's go back into our editor. Whoops, I could have clicked that, but that's okay. <laughs> um, if you don't like the size, if it's too small, you can change your size. Just keep your, your dimensions the same. So if you're in here and you want to edit that over here, you can make this 960 bigger and the 540 bigger. Uh, just make sure you keep them in proportion if you do that. So do, do your HTML code in Elementor, and that should handle your problem. So I hope that helped Anthony out, and I also hope, that, uh, hope it helped any other subscribers or viewers that happened to be running into the same issue when using a web builder such as Elementor. 
Thanks a lot. I hope this has been helpful. Feel free to uh, hit me up with any comments or questions at any point. Thanks. Take care.